Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the second episode of Boon Boom Jo. We finally saw the opening in this episode. It has a silly vibe very similar to what we have seen in Martian Sentai Kira Major. We also get a recap of the previous episode at the start of this episode. This week's mission for the team is to deliver some top secret documents to the government. We see Mira visit the Boon Boom Jo base, but Ishiro thinks that she is not a true Boon Boom Jo and doesn't like her being in the base. We learn that Bonebot is actually from another planet and Hash aliens are part of the space mafia and the main evil boss is called the Commander Madrax. This week's auto monster is based on a vacuum cleaner. Mira tries bonding with Ishiro on the mission but he is not interested. They are then attacked by the monster. Mira transforms and tries to save Joe while Ishiro runs away to call the Begin. Taya and Ishiro plan to take the monster to a junkyard and defeat it there. We learn that Genba is already working with Taya. By the time they reach the junkyard, Genba purchases the junkyard for them. Ishiro comes up with the idea that vacuum cleaner have a limit of collecting dirt. So they wait for the monster to reach its limit and then they fight him. We get a first team of call for the trial and they defeat the monster and foot soldiers by moving at really high speed. They move like they have powers of that flash. Once the monster is defeated, Yarukar collects all the gasoline and enters the highway space. They have another chase sequence where they beat it using the boon trailer. After that they fight the vacuum auto monster and save the day. Later when they deliver the top secret documents, turns out they are just the pictures of a famous pop star. Overall this was a okay episode. It has that slapstick and silly humor that we should expect from this show. I love the ground level fights and I hope they don't ignore such fights in the future episode. The Yarukar chase feels a little useless like it's just there to fill up time. They are trying to do something different with every chase. For the first episode, Mira was the focus character, so she delivered the final blow in the chase. For this episode, Ishiro was the focus character, so he helped deliver the final blow in the chase. There's a funny bit where Boonbot is always making curry for the team. I like that they are not rushing for a new Megazord formation or introduction of auxiliary rods so soon. The other two rangers are always a part of a story, so later when they do get a morpho and suit, we will be able to relate to them instead of them just dropping in randomly. I would rate this episode 3 out of 5. What are your thoughts about this episode? So do let me know in the comment section below.